Join the crew of the Sailing Yacht Sancerre, an expedition to Santa Barbara Island. Here's the island from Google Earth. And here is the NOAA chart that we use to get there. Our normal route takes us out of Channel Islands Harbor via Anacapa Island. Leaving Channel Islands Harbor, we set a course for a point just south of Anacapa Island, south of the uh, light, which takes us across the coastwise traffic lanes at right angles. Now the traffic lanes can be pretty darn busy. On a clear day, it's no problem. However, it's a good idea to keep your radar on, and if you've got MARPA, activate that. These ships are frequently moving in excess of 20 knots and can be a big hazard. They'll be below the horizon about the time you hit the shipping lane, and if you don't have the radar on, uh, they may jump up and surprise you. The cruise to Santa Barbara Island is frequently punctuated by wildlife interludes. Here we came across a pod of probably a thousand dolphins, white-sided common dolphins that uh, stayed with us for roughly half an hour. Here's artist Dave Gallup getting a close-up view. Approaching Santa Barbara Island from the north is something like a blue water cruise landfall. You'll find that there are two peaks on the island and a island, uh, offlying island, Sutil Island, just to the right in the picture. Here's our route coming through the gap. As we approached the island this last time, we encountered a humpback whale. She was on her way north and we south, so we just passed quickly. Last time we were there, we saw a minke whale. Fairly rare uh, to see these as they have a very small spout. As we get closer to the island, look off Webster Point, which is the low-lying land uh, on the mainland, and you'll see a reef. Uh, this reef is fairly hazardous, uh, and outside the reef, some uh, three-quarters of a mile, there's an outlying rock. So we go uh, quite close to Webster Point. And here's a close-up of the reef at Webster Point. Good idea to stand off 100 yards or so. Uh, that'll keep you clear of the offline rock and off of these rocks. There's another rock outcropping in near Sutil Island forming a small strait. The only problem here is that there may be kelp between the island and those rocks. We've never encountered it, but Fagan says it can be there. Our mission on this cruise was to take world-famous artist Dave Gallup down to paint some plein air pictures on the island. Here's Dave. And now we are approaching the end of the island, going through the straits between Sutil Island and the mainland. Coming around the south side of the island, there's some magnificent blowholes. We missed getting good pictures of them, but they can be spectacular. As you come into the anchorage area, the first thing you see is Arch Point and the huge arch. Then you'll pick up the ranger station and the dock. Pull into a uh, hundred yards or so from the beach. Here we are looking at it on our chart plotter. And you can see that we have moved around quite a bit. That's our track that squiggles around out there. The anchorage uh, is shown to have a, uh, anchor, a mooring ball, but that mooring ball is absent right now. We found it. It was sitting up on the uh, dock, probably awaiting repairs. I'm standing on the foredeck now. I'm going to scan the area for you. There's about 30 feet of water uh, at 100 yards off. I'm scanning from north to south, sweeping it down towards the ranger station now. We're exactly 100 yards off of that uh, rock that you can see where the water is breaking. We uh, used uh, Rob Walton's rangefinder to figure that out. When we first got here, a dive boat uh, moored just behind us. The interesting thing here is when they came out to uh, do some maintenance, uh, they probably were doing something with fish and it stirred up all the birds in the area. Pelicans, Xantus, Merlet, seagulls abound. 
Going ashore can be a pretty tricky proposition. There are three problems. One is there can be a surge. Looks fairly calm right now, but that's deceiving. Two is the ladder on the right. Uh, you've got to get in against that, fighting the surge. And three, you've got to do something with your boat if you intend to go ashore and stay there for a while. And that entails getting up the ladder and hauling your boat up uh, to the upper level if anyone's going to be using it. We were lucky nobody was on the island, uh, so we just hauled it partway up, and you'll see that picture in a minute. Well, here come our adventures, uh, as narrated by Tom Gallup, the famous artist Dave Gallup's brother. The crew of Sincere and famous artist Dave Gallup heading off to uh, Santa Barbara Islands. I'm the cook and bottle washer, and I'll be your guest for this part of the program. Guest host for this part of the program. This should look to be amusing. They have to get all three of those guys and a bunch of gear up a little tiny ladder with it looks like a good two to three foot surge. Let's see how it goes, shall we? America's Funniest Home Videos, here we go. All right, they're getting into the... Uh, they made the grab. Oh, and we got one aboard. Another tricky one, the guy with the boat. Oh, looks like the swells are in. Captain Dan making it look easy. And there goes the boat. Looks like we're all good. Have a good trip aboard, guys. Well, artist Dave Gallo, the bosun, Dennis Reith, and I had a great uh, time on shore. Dave went off us to the north end of the island, and uh, Dennis and I traveled south where we'd never been before. Here you see some panoramas of that island. Uh, hardest part of the trip was just after we got ashore. Stowed our life jackets, stowed the boat, and then set off up the hill. Now, we had it easy, Dennis and I. We just had to lug ourselves, but Dave is trekking tons of stuff, including an easel and his paints, his cameras, and assorted other gear. We we're out of water bottles, so he had to uh, put some water in a wine bottle and uh, look like a famous German artist. Here's some views of the ship from uh, just above the landing. And this is just above Sutil Island. There'll be a couple of them. And then Webster's Point. When we hit Webster's Point, the fog started to roll in. And that combined with the little yellow flowers here, which I know not what they are, uh, made for a beautiful afternoon. And a postcard looking picture of Dennis. Got back to the boat and did some kayaking. And uh, Dennis had originally said that there weren't as many sea lions as last year. There were, in fact, uh, several. When he and uh, and Dave came back, they were being followed by a posse of probably 50 of the critters. It's kind of hard to get pictures of them uh, when uh, I was in the water, but uh, here's my best uh, shot at that. On our final day, as we were getting ready to raise the anchor, the fog rolled in pretty thickly. We are a little bit nervous about that uh, as everything disappeared. Here's some pictures of the ranger shack and a pelican uh, disappearing in the fog. We headed south and the fog rapidly broke up. And Dave intended to paint some pictures of the sea lions and the large haul out uh, it turned out to be impossible, but we got some great photos of the tall ship Toll Moore that had been with us all night. It's time for us to pack up and head north. We have some work to do back at home. Well, there's 
there's that uh, famous rock. There it is, yeah. Are, are you just glad to see me? <laughs> We're heading north, and that's Arch Rock right in front of us. We're looking at the side of it so you can't see the arch. Santa Barbara Light is at the top of the hill. It's pretty small. If you're using it for a landmark, you're going to need your binoculars. Not many folks visit Santa Barbara Island. The staff is always happy to see you. And on our way out, the friendly lighthouse keeper bids us a fond farewell. See you next time, Posen. If you'd like to learn more about sailing to Santa Barbara Island or to any of the Channel Islands National Park, look at us at sailchannelislands.com or give me a call, 805-750-7828. This is Captain Dan. Happy sailing.